Hi there. I'm Andrina Shufran with the Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology, and I'm director of the Insect Adventure here in Stillwater. Today I'd like to introduce you to a new feature that we have at the Insect Adventure, the world's only entomology education garden. There's all sorts of plants and things set up for kids to learn how to collect insects as well as just enjoy observing them. I'm gonna walk you through a few of those today, but what I want everybody to take home is this is not a fancy don't touch garden. This is a garden all about bugs. So you have to get out there and whack them. This is an insect trap that a lot of people have never seen before. It's called a malaise trap, and it's used to collect flying insects during the day. They hit this panel, fly up, and you can collect them in the jar. There are lots of different kinds of traps for catching all different kinds of insects. This trap is a permanent trap, and one you may have heard about before. This is a black light trap for catching flying insects at night. It's in front of the insect adventure. It's open to the public all year long, and it's amazing the animals that you can find in here. Moths and butterflies, but also praying mantises, and we've got lacewing today, all sorts of animals. And this is available to anyone who makes the trip. This is an easy insect trap that you can do at home. These are called pan traps, and it's just water in brightly colored plastic bowls. And the color actually attracts different kinds of insects to the different colors. And so if you have several, you can collect all sorts of different things. But it's just water in here, so check it every day or keep it empty or you'll have a big stink pile. This is a yellow sticky trap. Another insect trap for catching flying animals. Very inexpensive, you can hang them anywhere on anything. And when the animal hits the trap, they're stuck. And there's all different kinds of things. Got a bee, got a little wasp here. The thing with this trap is it needs to be changed and replaced regularly, especially after wind or when it's really crowded. This is another fun trap that you can do at home. All you need is two large plastic cups that fit inside each other. This is a pitfall trap. You dig a hole in your backyard, put both cups in, take the lid off. Any insects and arthropods walking around will walk to the edge, fall in, and be stuck until the morning. And then you just take the cup back out, put the lid on, and you can take it inside to see what you've got. The best way to store this is with the lid on so you don't get another stink pot. While this raised bed isn't a trap, it's an enticement for kids as well as butterfly larvae to come in and experience the scents of plants. Thyme, lavender, rosemary, basil. In this bed, there are also some host plants for caterpillars, especially black swallowtails so that kids can see those guys up close. Now here's something you might not think of as an insect trap, but most definitely is. These are old rotten logs that we've collected from the areas around Stillwater, and they make wonderful hiding places for all the different kinds of insects that live and eat inside wood. So this is a great area for a kid who's not maybe somebody who likes to run around as much but is more meticulous and likes to sit and pry things apart to see what's inside. This cool thing 
is called a Berlazi funnel. And it's a way to sort out insects from the dirt and compost that they're living in. So simply what we have here is a funnel. This one is actually made out of a paint can and it's got a screen inside. You put the compost or the dirt that you get from outside, set it inside on the screen, turn the light on. The heat drives all of the critters inside down into the cup, which has got plaster of Paris moistened in there, and the animals will survive for a couple of days so you can come back and look at them. So as you can see, there are lots of neat things to discover here at the Insect Adventure and tons of cool bugs outside waiting for you to come and discover them. The Insect Adventure is open every first and third Saturday of every month of the year from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's $3 as an entrance fee, but you can stay the whole four hours, and we ask that you please bring a mask to keep other people safe. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.